What's up everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I made more than $60,000 in the first year operating my bookkeeping business. I started three years ago, I have learned so much and I make these videos every single day so that I can teach you how to start a bookkeeping business the exact same way I did in less than 30 days with no experience. So this Excel spreadsheet you're looking at right now is my actual profit and loss for my bookkeeping business from November 2020 through October 2021. The first 12 months of operating my bookkeeping business. And I'm showing you this not so that I can brag about my accomplishments, but I want to inspire you and motivate you so that you can see that I did it so that you can know that you can do it too. As long as you watch my videos and follow my steps and listen to the things that I tell you to do, you will be able to make more than $60,000 in the first 12 months. So let's look at the numbers and see how I did it. So this is just a broad overview, first of all, of the first 12 months of my business. So if you don't know already, I started my bookkeeping business with zero experience. I do not have a college degree in accounting. I had no work experience. I had no certifications. So in August of 2020, I started taking my very first intro to accounting class at an online college. And then two months later in October, I got the idea to start a bookkeeping business just because I fell in love with accounting. And then in November, I bought a laptop. And then in December, I got my very first client to pay me money. So here's a broad overview of the first 12 months. And then once I go through this, I'm gonna show you guys month by month how much money I made every single month so you can see the gradual progression. And during this entire process, I was working a full-time job for the first six months. So I made $74,000 in the first 12 months. And in my opinion, that's a pretty good income. But I did spend a little more than $5,000 on two things. First of all, QuickBooks subscriptions. So QuickBooks billed me directly, and then I would then bill my clients. So that wasn't really income that I was making. And then also I worked with a CPA. You can see here cost of labor almost $3,000. So what I did in the first year, I worked with the CPA and he filed the taxes for my clients. So I billed the clients and then I just paid the CPA. I don't do it like that anymore. I recommend you don't do it like that either because it was really an administrative pain for me because I was billing my, my clients for tax work that I wasn't even doing and then I was just transferring the money to my CPA. So my recommendation to you, find a good CPA who you wanna partner with and then just refer them over to him or her and then let the CPA do the taxes and let the CPA handle the billing. So after I take out the money that I paid my CPA and the money that I paid for the QuickBooks subscription, I actually only ended up making $68,000, which is still pretty good gross profit for the first 12 months of starting this business. Now let's look at the expenses that I had. And this is the great thing about starting a bookkeeping business there's really not that many expenses. So I was almost able to take home all of my profit. Okay, so $68,000 gross profit after I take out the cost of labor and the QuickBooks subscriptions. Now we have up here advertising and marketing, only less than $400 for advertising and marketing. And I'm gonna break down individually what I bought in the first 12 months. Bank charges and fees, $28. I just missed a credit card payment, so that was a $28 fee. Continuing education was one of my biggest expenses and I spent $1,000 on two things. So I'm, I'm taking college classes at this point, so I spent like 200 bucks on a college textbook, which is awesome. If you're a business owner, you can actually write off your education expenses as long as your education is relevant to the business that you're operating. And then I also spent $800 on a bookkeeping course that I would not recommend anybody take. I'm not gonna tell you who the course was just because I feel like that's not very nice, but I would not recommend that you take this particular course. Maybe there are better courses out there and I'm actually thinking about launching my own course in the next few months, but you don't need to take a bookkeeping course. You don't need to take a QuickBooks course. You don't need to spend money on anything to start a bookkeeping business. I really did not get a whole lot out of the $800 bookkeeping course that I bought. And then in the, in the first six months, I did get insurance. So I spent $525 on errors and omissions insurance. I recommend you get the same thing. Spent $29 on legal and professional services. I'm not sure what that was. We can look into that later, but it was only 29 bucks. 
And then my biggest expense was actually office supplies and software. I spent $1,345 on office supplies in the first 12 months. And that's because I bought a laptop for $500 and I bought a filing cabinet. I got a desk and I got a chair. So all of that ended up being a little bit more than $1,000, but you don't need to get most of that stuff. I sit in my chair all day, so I wanted to get a comfortable chair that supported my back, and I wanted to get a nice desk, but you don't need, if you're short on cash, you don't need to buy that stuff. The only thing you need is a laptop with an internet connection. And you can get a laptop really cheap on Amazon for like three or 400 bucks right now. And then finally, Stripe fees. So I do use a payment processor to process credit cards. So that income was the income that I billed my clients, but then I ended up paying about $1,000 in Stripe fees. So that came out of my expenses. So all in all, I ended up netting $64,000. This is $64,000 left over after all of my expenses, after I paid my CPA, after I paid for the QuickBooks subscription, and that's in the first 12 months. So I was making a little bit more than $5,000 a month, and that is a pretty good income in my opinion, especially for the first 12 months starting a brand new business with no experience. And the reason I'm telling you guys this, once again, I, I'm not coming on here to brag. I'm coming on here to show you guys that it's possible. I want to motivate you and inspire you and show you that I did it three years ago and you can do the exact same thing that I did. And if you want help starting your bookkeeping business or maybe growing your bookkeeping business, there's actually a link in the description below. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. I would love to work with you and help you achieve these results. Okay, now I'm going to show you specific transactions that fell under my advertising and marketing. Like I said, I spent, it's really small on the screen. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll explain it real quick. Just bear with me. I spent $382 on advertising and marketing in the first year. And the best thing about this business, you really don't need to spend any money on advertising. I've never paid for Google ads or Facebook ads. I've never bought a billboard. I've never bought an advertisement in a magazine or a newspaper. So I spent $16 on business cards from Vistaprint, total waste of money, don't recommend you do it. I spent $160 on t-shirts. I go to the gym a lot, and so I just got like 10 t-shirts with my business logo on it. Super unnecessary, you don't need to do this. I just wanted to represent my business on my t-shirt whenever I went to the gym, so I bought 10 shirts. I was gonna wear a shirt anyway, so might as well put my logo on it. And then I spent $200 on three years of domain hosting from HostGator. So if you want to get a website, you have to buy a domain first. And HostGator is where I get my domain. I spent $200 for three years of hosting. That's really not that bad. It ends up being like five or six bucks per month. So that's how I spent less than $400 on advertising. You could have avoided the business cards. You can avoid the t-shirts, but you need to get the domain. So you're probably going to end up spending couple hundred bucks on a domain, but you get three years of your, your website name. Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna show you. This is my office supplies and software. So the Stripe fees were unavoidable. The advertising and marketing fees, you probably only need to spend $200 for your domain. Now these are office supplies and software. So I got an office chair for $112. I actually highly recommend that you spend $100 plus on a really comfortable office chair because you're gonna be sitting in that office chair all the time. I bought one laptop for 500 bucks and then I bought a second laptop because I thought I was gonna hire an employee and that never ended up happening. So I spent almost $1,000 on two laptops. That could have been avoidable, just buy one laptop in the beginning, three, four, 500 bucks. So now if you buy a laptop and an office chair, you're sitting at like maybe four to $600. And then I got a second computer charger that ended up costing me $60. For Adobe, I spent $25 on an Adobe subscription. I was starting to edit videos. You don't need to do that. G Suite, they charge me $6 every single month. G Suite for my, my Gmail account. So I have Zach at HarrisburgBookkeeping.com, my, my domain email address. I run that through Google. Highly recommend that you do that. So I spent 60 bucks on G Suite. They charge me six bucks a month. And then for my website, 40 bucks and $50 for my SSL certificate, less than $100 on just like miscellaneous website fees when I was getting signed up, and then another $45 on miscellaneous office supplies. So all in, less than $1,400, but probably five or 600 of that was avoidable. So for probably $600 of office supplies, 
to include your website and your laptop and your office chair. For less than $600, you can probably get your office supplies. For $200, you can get your domain. And that's really all you need to do. So that's how I made $74,000 of income and ended up having $64,000 of net income in the first 12 months of my bookkeeping business. I wanted to show you guys these numbers so that you had the confidence and the motivation and the inspiration to know that it's possible. You can do this. If you want to start a bookkeeping business today with no experience, you can get clients in the first 30 days.